It is time to imagine it. Imagination Station's Chief Scientist Carl Nelson is here, and I'm already liking the sound of this one. Okay, first we have ping pong balls. We're going to think like an engineer today. Okay, all We're right. We're going to see how we can launch a ping pong ball across the room. Without a paddle? Without a paddle. Because I could do that. You all could right. do that, but we're going to use air instead. Now, okay. you've probably seen this before, right? I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to pass this to you. Go ahead and hold okay. that there. So, yeah, don't cover the bottom. Now, <laughs> the ping pong ball's floating in the air. Wind is counteracting gravity, no big deal. But watch what happens when you bring a tube next to the ping pong ball. Come on, here we go. Oh. It falls. Okay. <laughs> actually, it's supposed to, it's gonna actually shoot through the tube here. Here we go. Right, okay, well. so this is, this is good engineering right here. We've got a problem. Okay. So we're gonna modify that problem by turning this off. Okay. And what'll happen is, I think my tube's a little crushed. All right. We're gonna step up to a bigger model of blower, hmm. okay? Um, we're going to step up to a leaf blower here. Okay, a lot now, of us have these at home. A lot of you have them at home. And we're going to use this tube to help concentrate the airflow. It's going to start big and it's going to get small. It's going to speed up. Okay. So what I want you to do is just go ahead and drop one ping pong ball into the top of the leaf blower once All I get right. it going. Now? Yeah, put it right in there. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow, try it again. Push it right down in there. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay, so that's cool, right? I mean, yes. So we're getting the ball launched across the room, but that's one ball at a time. Sure. I'm thinking what we really need to do is have some way, like this, to get a bunch of balls oh. to fall because of gravity and then launch across the room in that fast-moving stream of I've air. always wanted to play paintball, and this seems like a safer version. It does, it does. Now, what we've got going on here is fast-moving stream of air. Uh -huh. We should draw the balls in and launch them right across the room. Sweet. I'll let you do the honor This of is like real-life duck pin. hunt. I like it. Okay. <laughs> and we got Tony over there with a, a bucket. Maybe he can try to catch some of these. Maybe he'll make the dog noise, like I duck hunt, the game. No. I'll squeeze this. Okay. You pull that out. Okay, ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh. Right. That's, okay. This happens when you build prototypes. Sometimes the unexpected happens. Okay. What's happening is we've got air flowing out the front, we got air flowing out the back. Uh -huh. If we had been clever and put our hand over the top, that airflow uh, wouldn't have come okay. out, the balls would have fallen straight down and shot through the okay. air. Okay. Okay? So, so try it again. like every good engineer, we're gonna come up with a new prototype. <sighs> okay. okay. And so this I'm one. I'm glad you did the hard work. Oh boy. We're gonna step up the blower power. Okay. Okay. We're gonna step up the capacity for the ping pong uh -huh. balls. And I'm gonna have you go ahead and hold this. Okay. We got it turned on high and there's a okay. turbo button there. And I just need to sh shoot gonna it right at Tony. Aim for Tony. We're gonna see how many of these ping pong balls he can capture in that bucket. By the way, this has a turbo button. And you're gonna use the turbo as well. Oh, so okay. Squeeze all three buttons okay. at the same time. I'll release Ready? the balls. Let Set. me know. Go. Let it get up to speed. Awesome. <laughs> I think they were moving just a little bit too fast for any of the balls How to stay in the How many did you catch? Canister. I got two. Oh, that's not okay. Bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. But, you know, this is, it's, it's kind of goofy, but it is kind of mirroring some of the design process where you start with a simple prototype sure. and amp it up to finally get a result that you're looking for. Very cool. Well, Carl Nelson, thanks so much for coming in. Of course, you can learn all about the scientific fundamentals down at the Imagination Station. They are open today. Carl, thanks so much for coming in. You can also check out Dinosaurs Unearthed. That's this week's <laughs> Imagine It. <laughs>